Maybe not that much. Oh! <laughs> that is no. Hello guys, it is Maddie and welcome back to my channel. So I know I say this before like just about every single video I do, but I am actually so excited to be doing this video. So I want to give a huge shout out to Inkbox. Those of you who don't know what Inkbox is, Inkbox is a semi-permanent tattoo brand or company. And they just sent me this. And I'm so excited because I got to pick out five tattoos that I wanted and they sent them to me. Five. Five. So I'm going to be trying Inkbox out and seeing how it looks. And I'm going to be completely transforming myself into someone who has tons of tattoos. I currently... Oh my god. Guys, I am so excited. So as you can see, I got five. Your body is canvas. This is crazy. Okay, so the first one. Oh my god, this is so cute. This music note. I don't know where I'm gonna put this. <gasps> This hand holding this rose. I don't know where I'm gonna put these. I think I'm just gonna have a, a sleeve. You're wondering, um, I got this scarf from curling my hair. Curling iron props. Next. <gasps> this. I know you're probably like, why is she wearing a tank top dress in the middle of winter? It's because I was thinking about putting one like on my shoulder, this one here. Maybe the hand one like here. Oh my God, this one. I love this. This is gonna be my tattoo sleeve arm. I need to stop. Oh, this is so cute. This thing contains cloth, wipes, ethyl alcohol, gloves, and the instructions, but they say ink instructions. How cute is that? Typically lasts, majority says nine to 11 days. That's a long time. I was not expecting this to last that long. The arm sleeve for like over a week. I'm gonna do this one. Right here, this way, this way, this way. Right here on my arm. That's what I'm gonna do. Instructions. So the first thing we do is peel the white backing. Okay. Here it is, here's my tattoo. Here we go. Okay, so we peel the white backing, which I'm assuming is this. I'm nervous. Wait, what tab? I'm so bad at following direction. We're going to peel this off. Make sure all of the white comes off. I think it all came off. And then place it. Oh my God, what if it's crooked? Crooked or not? Oh my god. About to be crooked. So I can't even. I don't even know. Well, we're just gonna put this down here. My arm is like too small for this. So once we do this, peel the black off. It's very important that you do not touch this blue stuff because it will stain. At least that's what the video said. This is gonna be so crooked. You can already see it. So now we put on our gloves and then alcohol. You just wipe this with the alcohol. The next stage is I have to put the cloth into the microwave. So you tear the corner. Oh, maybe not that much. And then put it in the microwave for 10 seconds. Seven, six, five, four. Ooh. <laughs> now we have to put this on the tattoo for 15 minutes. Okay, yeah, that was a really long 15 minutes. So I just got done. Now I just peel it off. I'm nervous. I'm so nervous. Wait. I don't think I did this right. Oh my God, it's so crooked. Oh, it does take the tattoo like 24 hours to fully develop. It's not fully developed. It was really hard to like press down. I'm super excited to see what it looks like after 24 hours. So the next tattoo I'm gonna be doing is this one. I just, I love this. I think I'm gonna put it here. 
Okay, so we're gonna peel this off. This is just gonna kind of be sped up since I already did it and it'll be boring, so. But this is gonna hurt like a on my arm hair because I have so much arm hair. Oh my, my hair, my hair, my hair, guys, my hair. Ow. Okay. Oh. It's so, it's so wrinkly. It's legitimately so wrinkly. It's not exactly where I wanted it to be, but I did make that like crooked. I meant to put it like on my forearm and it ended up being on the side of my arm, but that's fine. I am so excited to see how these turn out. Next step two, next step two. Hmm. Oh, right here, right here, right here. That's what I'm doing. These are like so much fun. Thank you. Next, I'm so grateful for ink box. All right, all right. Oh my god. Please be careful where you're putting these guys. Don't put them on a lot of hair because it hurts. That is nope. Super wrinkly. It won't be that wrinkly. That's insane. Never had like a sleeve before. Oh. That was so dumb. I am going to be putting this music note right on here on my thumb. It's like getting dark. I moved it from my thumb to my arm because the wrinkles on my thumb made it kind of hard. It says it works best on a flat surface and my thumb is not flat. So I did it on my arm instead. Let's see what it looks like. Ouch. That's really, really, really light, but it'll take some time to develop. Hopefully it develops well. And last but not least, I'm gonna do this sunflower. I think I'm gonna put it right here. If you ever plan on getting these, which you totally should, I wouldn't suggest you doing five in one sitting because it'll be a long, it'll be a long journey. Ow. This one is super light as well. So hopefully this works. You see, wait, ooh, this one's getting really dark. Guys, that's all for right now. And then I'm going to finish this video tomorrow after the 24 hours has passed. It has been a full 24 hours since I did the tattoos. So I'd like to show you, they're definitely so much darker. When I woke up, I was actually taken by extreme surprise on how dark these were because I was a little unsure with the color of them whenever I was done. But this is the arrow. Um, as you could see, some of this like didn't get printed. You just have to really make sure that you get all of the white off before you put the sticker on. This sunflower. Turned out like really good, I think. It's amazing. This turned out amazing. There is a little bit of smudging and that's solely because whenever I had the cloth on, the cloth like moved a little bit and I guess that smudges your tattoo pretty bad. So I think it's really important that you do not move that cloth when you're holding it for the 15 minutes. This rose is super cute. Um, there's a little bit of smudging here as well. And that's solely because, again, the cloth was just, I moved. It was really hard to hold it in these spots because they're just awkward. Um, there was a little bit of smudging on this, but it is still okay. I don't know. I think I look good with tattoos on my arms. I don't know what you guys think. Maybe drop it in the comments. Should I get a sleeve or something? <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> totally would not. So I think it looks really good, and I'm super excited about it. I would totally recommend Inkbox. I think they're so much fun. They have thousands of designs, and not only do they have thousands of designs, but they also have custom. So let's just say like you want to get this tattoo, and you don't know if like you should get it, or you're a little bit unsure, you can have a tattoo customized for you, and then have that on your body for two weeks, and see if you like it, if you maybe want to get it permanently. Maybe even use that as a stencil, for a real tattoo. Who knows, but I think they're so much fun and I had so much fun. This was like the funnest video ever. The color of these, the pigment, is legit the same pigment of my real tattoos. As you could see, this is a real tattoo. This is ink box. They're the same pigment. So if you want to have a tattoo, this is basically a tattoo. So Inkbox is amazing. Thank you guys so much for watching. 
Um, please be sure to subscribe, comment, like this video. Bye. And when I write a song, I think of you and my words get strong. It's not alright, cause you're with me.